everybody welcome back I wanted to show you a quick video about something that I've been noticing with the scapula and its relationship to the first rib and I first saw this a month ago or so when I was teaching a course and really noticed how much posture affects you know obviously the position of the shoulder girdle and the scapula but how much that can really fool our palpation a little bit and when we think that we're doing something with the first rib whether it's mobilizing or manipulating it we might not always be on the first rib and if you've had a class with me you might have heard me say at some point rule number one if you're going to be mobilizing or manipulating the first rib the first rule is be on the first rib so to make sure that we're on the first rib we got to go through this little exercise here on our patient i've kind of drawn the orientation of his scapula that you can see here but the particular portion of the scapula that I'm interested in is right here. This pointy part right here that you can see and that we've outlined on our patient. Because a lot of times, and his posture isn't terrible in terms of the position of his scapula, but a lot of times we'll see patients with you know, that upward you know, scapula protracted and things like that. So that when we go and we're you know checking and we're palpating around and we're seeing you know can we find that first rib, are we on it? And sometimes you can see how high this point of his scapula comes. Sometimes you know that can fool you, especially if you're in a supine position. So a we want to make sure that whether in a supine or not that we want to be able to palpate where this is. And the most obvious way to tell if you're on this spot versus a rib is you could either passively move his shoulder girdle in this standing position or sitting position or passively move it a little bit when he's in supine. You can't really do that actively because he's going to be contracting traps and you know that's going to throw you off. So you really have to do it passively. So I can palpate here and go all right that's his scapula for sure but you know if I want to be on the first rib you know I have to go anterior to that. So here is really his first rib. Now, you can also tell on him, his clavicle is about here. His clavicle comes back and around this way. So there's really this amount of space on this particular patient where I can probably palpate that first rib. And I've seen patients where really that space is almost negligible to where you really, there's very little room for you to actually get on the first rib on this aspect of it so that you know if you're fortunate you can go more medial and, and work to mobilize it or manipulate it but there's going to be some patients where their shoulder girdle is so elevated and protracted that it darn near covers the whole first rib in terms of our palpation so if we're going to be if we're going to say that we're being specific to what we're doing you got to be on the first rib right so uh, whether you're in sitting or whether you're in supine check this out with some of your patients especially the ones with poor posture because i'd be willing to bet that a lot of times what we think we might be on the first rib or say that we're mobilizing the first rib, we aren't necessarily there. At least that's something that I've, I've noticed with you know colleagues or, or um, teaching in different classes. So uh, I, I think this is something that a lot of you will, will notice or even be surprised at. I certainly was, but man, it was, it was pretty phenomenal when I saw it in a class and was showing everybody saying, you know, come around, look at this, this is pretty neat. So yeah, keep that in mind, you know, draw, you know, or if your patient likes to be drawn on, um, outline the borders of the scapula, you know, to know where you are in the lay of the land and, and actually go and palpate, find that specific area on each patient. And then that way you'll know whether you're on the first rib or you're on another part of the scapula, like we're talking about here. So take that, check it out, you know, do it sitting, do it supine, do a sideline. All those different things, sideline works great because you can passively move the scapula really easily. So if this particular bone that you're on starts moving when you move the shoulder girdle, it's probably not a rib. But check it out in those positions. Uh, see if you're accurate with your palpation or if this is something that really helps you to be more accurate, I would love to know. Uh, so leave a comment and help us out. Uh, tell us if you think it's useful or if I'm just making all this up and I'm really bad at value on palpation. But I don't think so. Uh, either way, we'd love to hear your feedback on Facebook, Twitter, or down in the comment section. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.